In 2010, God specifically told his servant, Reverend Dr. Bethel Wanebu, popularly known as Reverend B, our Press Peter of Owari East District, Assemblies of God Nigeria, and Senior Minister of the largest church in the district, the Assemblies of God Church, number 11 Archdeacon Denny Street, Ikenebu Owari, Imo State, Nigeria, to organize in a stadium an annual international music crusade that would feature at least one globally acclaimed gospel musician. All the nationally and locally renowned gospel artists, mass choirs and a cappella groups to sing down God's glory that would ensure a fatal and conducive spiritual environment for the ministration of the unadulterated, inerrant and omnicompetent word of God for heaven to rain down salvation, healing, deliverances and other amazing miracles. Though never doubting the message he clearly received, nor the source, Reverend Dr. Wanebu, however, surely shall lead for more than two years because of how to fund the tens of millions needed to host such a gigantic program. It was when God unmistakenly told him that failure to carry out the heavenly mandate would result to setting him aside that Reverend Dr. Bethel Wanebu, Reverend B, knowing the far-reaching negative implications of being set aside by God, threw himself and everything he had into actualizing the heavenly revelational assignment. Like Apostle Paul of the Bible, Reverend Wanebu firmly decided and determined to be obedient to the heavenly vision. Consequently, Send Down Thy Glory International Music Crusade became a reality as the annual flagship program of the Assemblies of God Church, number 11, Archdeacon Denny Street, Ikenebuwere, Imo State, Nigeria. The first edition held on Friday, December 12, 2014, at the Dan Anyam Stadium, Uwere, and featured world acclaimed gospel musician Ron Kennelly from the United States of America. A renowned national gospel artist, Buchi from Lagos, Nigeria. And popular national gospel music icon, Cornelius Benjamin of Mirindu fame from Aba, Abia State, Nigeria. Mass choirs. and a cappella groups. The second edition on Friday, December 11, 2015, at the same Dananyam Stadium, Owere, featured two internationally acclaimed gospel music stars, Sinach <laughs> Pan and Pasi Paul from Joss, Nigeria. And the crowd favorites, Cornelius Benjamin of Mirindu fame. <laughs> Mass choirs. <laughs> and a cappella groups. <laughs> Friday, December 9, 2016, was the date of the third edition that featured two renowned international gospel musicians, Don Moen from the USA, Frank Edwards from Nigeria, and the regular features, Cornelius Benjamin of Umirindu fame. What shall I render to the Lord for his love? Mass choirs <laughs> and a cappella groups. Send out your glory. You are king of glory. Oh,
The fourth edition at the same Dan Anyam Stadium, Oware, on Friday, December 8, 2017, featured the second coming of Ron Kennelly from the United States of America. <laughs> A national gospel music icon, Joe Praise. Another wave making national gospel artist and our crowd favorite, Cornelis Benjamin. What shall I render to the Lord for his love? A cappella groups. <laughs> and mass choirs. All the glory must be to the Lord. An international gospel music and worship icon. Minister Uchago Elias Uche Double Double from the United States of America, USA. International gospel music star Priye Odede. Now, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Oweri, you are like that, that dress, eh? Turn the cry, your church is here. We permit our for the night. Child's gonna come right now. You don't have to cry no more. Globally acclaimed gospel musician Israel Anyanele of Agape Love Band, Aba, Nigeria. Renowned gospel music crowd delight, Cornelius Benjamin. Highly reputed worship icon, Osina Chiwachuku of Ekweme fame, with her twin sister, Grace Eze. A cappella groups and mass choirs all featured at the fifth edition on Friday, December 14, 2018, at the usual Dan Anyam Stadium, Weather Road, Uwere. As the gospel music icons took their turns on the stage, the exhilarating crowd could hardly hold themselves. And when the visioner and convener, Reverend Dr. Bethel Wanebu, Reverend B, delivered the message and made altar calls people trooped out in thousands from the various stands to give their lives to jesus christ and accept him as their personal lord and savior here are the converts of 2014. 2015. Thank you for your love over my life, for keeping me alive till today to give me this opportunity. 2016. From today, I have renounced Satan. I am now a child of God. The 2017 Harvest of Souls. Place that hand on your head. Thank you, Father, for your word. These men and women came out on their own. Nobody dragged them to this place. 
coming to reconcile, to surrender your lives to Jesus. Daddy, we pray today for your mercy. You ask me to speak that they are not too terrible for you to show mercy. Oh my God. Their sins are not too black that the blood of Jesus cannot forgive them. And the 2018 new converts. The Lord Jesus, here am I today, a sinner that deserves to die. But because you love me and died for me on the cross of Calvary, I ask for mercy. Jesus, show me mercy today. Forgive me my sins. Come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. By the time Reverend Dr. Bethel Wanebu ministered to the needs of people under an outpouring of the Holy Ghost and power, Outstanding miracles, signs and wonders took place. Five years holiness. Last year I was in the sun and in glory. Today I am with my baby bouncing baby. Bring song. that baby immediately. There is a gentleman. See the fruit of Saint and Thy Glory 2014. This young man is a footballer and they had an injury, a fracture for four years. And the doctor told him that it's an everlasting injury. But while you were praying, there was a cracking and a slam. And the fire of the company, he could not do this before. And look at him now, he's Central Planning Committee will confirm this. We were in a meeting in my church that night when my phone rang. And uh, there was wailing, crying. But all she said was, my brother is dead and i said calm down calm down what do you want me to do he said man of god i believe if you pray my brother will come back to life i simply told her go to your brother and lay your hands as i pray she went to the brother and i simply said i command you to come back to life in Jesus' name. Ebubele. I told her, call me back in a minute and tell me what happened. And in a minute, my phone rang. And she shouted, my brother is alive. And that's the young man standing here tonight. This sister with a sister, they came crying with tears of joy. And the sister shouted, unbelievable, unbelievable. I can't believe this. And what is that? The sister here has a lump in the breast. In the course of the administration, your administration, the, the lump disappeared. She said that she dipped her hand in the sister's breast and could not find it. To confirm, she could not find it. I dipped my hand inside the breast to confirm whether we spirit it to before coming up there. And what happened? I can't find the log. You can't find the logs again. This is the sister. She knew about the case. He said, when the man of God came around me and was praying, the Spirit of the Lord told me, break that your eyeglass. I was looking at him, destroying his eyeglass. I was looking at him. And a little while, I went close to him to know what has happened to him. But he said, yes, that's the right there. He broke it as we are praying for him. He called me and said, man of God, come. He said, for five years, I couldn't read. But after the prayer of the man of God, I can now read. I said, show it to me. He brought forth his handset and he scrolled it. And I said, read it out. And he started reading. Sir, can you read? Praise the Lord. Young gospel tells us there were many people gathered around the pool of Bethsaida. Thank you for the sharing of the water by the end here. This woman could have been here with her left ear. Left ear! She said that there is a noise. You make mention of a woman that the noise is going on in her ears. The right where you were praying the prayer, the ear for me open. Yes, yes, open. Are you 
just watching like that. Doubtless, it has now dawned on all that the Almighty God is indeed behind this special, revelational, crowd-pulling, glory-filled and God-magnifying annual event aptly called Send Down Thy Glory International Music Crusade. The stage is set for the 6th edition on Friday, December 13, 2019. Featuring world-renowned gospel music icon, Tim Godfrey, the second comings of Buchi, Priye Odede, Israel Anyanele, or a crowd constant, Cornelius Benjamin, and upcoming gospel music grave of the moment, Stan Daniel and Honorable Chimdi. Under the type of high-level worship and glorious spiritual atmosphere that undoubtedly pervade the venue, all manners of miracles, healings, deliverances and other signs and wonders certainly take place. Indeed, as God's word said, nothing is impossible. Your maximum support to this awesome vision and great move of God is highly solicited. Yes, indeed. Graciously be a partner of the program with an annual support of $1,000, $500, $300, $200, $100, or $50. You can write check in the name of Send Down Thy Glory Crusade Incorporated. You shall be abundantly blessed. To God be the glory. <laughs> 